Hello there. <clears throat> this video is for anybody who has an old laptop that uses a uh, Connextant <clears throat> HD audio and you upgraded to the latest version of Windows 10 <clears throat> um, 2004 and um, you lost your audio <laughs> you may have lost also some other things you might have lost your um, <clears throat> your Wi-Fi might have problems your touchpad might have problems like I think uh, what's the name of this company let me see synaptics so I know the latest version <clears throat> of Windows broke a lot of those devices and it broke a lot of uh, um, HD audio devices and a lot of wireless network devices so I was affected by some of that and I sorted it all out but one thing that might help people at least with the audio side of it one of the things that worked for me well I tried two things one worked for 1909 but it didn't work for 2004 so I had an old driver this is this is my laptop I'm using VNC because it's too slow to run capture software on and I don't have hardware capture so uh, I don't have any uh, hardware capture equipment so I can't <clears throat> I can't like record my BIOS or slow computers so that's why I'm doing it this way <clears throat> but anyway this is my laptop and when I went to 1909 and when I went to 2004 I lost audio now in 1909 I was able to install uh, the ancient audio driver in compatibility mode for Windows 7 because the hardware the computer came out long before Windows 10 came out so that worked but and then there's other there's unsigned drivers um, <clears throat> well at least Windows 10 doesn't recognize them as signed drivers and there's a way to uh, reboot your computer in uh, <clears throat> recovery options and you can install unsigned drivers that way but I always found once Windows loads back up it's a no-go it's fine it's like hey this is an unsigned driver I'm not going to use it so I don't really understand uh, how that would work it seemed to, I seem to get by with it on 1909 but not 2004 but to cut to the chase, this is one thing that worked for me. Now, <clears throat> I didn't get the offer for 2004 from Microsoft Windows Update, so I forced it, knowing that I was going to break things. <laughs> but as usual, I was bored, so I was going to break it. And I was bent on uh, <clears throat> bent on uh, uh, trying to trying to fix it, like I did for 1909. I don't want to wait months and months for it to be ready for the update. I just wanted to get it over with, get everything sorted out, and then back it up. Because every time Windows come, you know, 1803, 1809, 1903, 1909, and 2004, you just want to get by that with no major problems and breathe a sigh of release, relief. Because, <laughs> you know, especially when, what was it, when 1909 came out? Or was it 1903? Which the one? Oh, it was 1809. Where it broke everything? Might have been 1809. <laughs> but anyway, uh, this is this is one of the, one of the things that worked for me, and I'm not even 100% sure why it worked. It has something to do with how I'm. Uh, <clears throat> I'm not even gonna try to explain it, but this is one of the things that worked for me. If you if you have an older computer and you lose audio by going 2004, everything works fine. You don't want to roll back. But you want to try something to get your audio back, you could try this. So let's see, it's uh, um, hold on, I'm on a Wi Fi, a, a very poor Wi Fi connection here, remoting into this laptop. So let's be patient. <laughs> Sticky notes. All right, so there's a sticky note, but we'll get to that in a bit. First, I wanted to go to um, and you want to go to MS Config, System Configuration, and you want to go to see if I could re re remember 
where we want to get to. Oh, brain is turned off. Yeah, you want to go to the boot tab, right? You want to go to advanced options. And here, where it says maximum memory, you want to set that to whatever, how much memory you have. Like I have four gigs. So four gigs would be 4,096 uh, kil uh, kilobytes, right? Or kil kilobits. <laughs> Sorry, my brain's all messed up. Don't make me do math right now. Anyway, it'd be 496, 4,096. 4, but if you just set it one down from 496 to 495, for some reason, that brings back your audio. So I'm not 100% sure why, but did some poking around and I gave that a try and that works. So whatever your maximum memory is, just take it down one one value and then see if your audio comes back now one thing the, the sticky note that i saved is uh if you make the mistake of putting this too low or you made a mistake and you put this to zero or you uh <laughs> you, you just had the memory set uh, too low you're going to be in a world of hurt so what you're going to need to do is if you can't get because windows Without, without its memory, especially on a slow laptop, slow computer, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be almost unusable. So you're going to have to try to do it in safe mode, or you're going to have to use a recovery disk or a repair disk or an installation disk to get to the recovery console. And when you get to the recovery console, you're going to want to... Uh, that command that just popped up before. That's what you're going to... You're going to want to uh, get to the... <clears throat> get to the drive letter that has your install, I'm pretty sure that's what you have to get to. And I think in the recovery environment, sometimes it's not even C. It's like, it might even be X. I can't recall, but once you once you think you're in the right spot in the recovery console, you could just try it in a bunch of uh, drive letters. Whatever drive letter you can access in the recovery console, um, the one that to try to determine which one has your uh, Windows install in it, or at least your, your boot configuration data. And this command will basically say, hey, forget all that nonsense well, about me telling you how much memory to use. <laughs> use it all. So you just yeah, you just type that in there, BC, BCD edit, and then this, this the rest of this stuff. And, uh, and then your system will be back to using all the available memory. And then hopefully you go back in there and try to do that setting again, I said, and see if it works for you. But yeah, so... I worded everything poorly, as usual, but <clears throat> hopefully somebody who has an older older computer that has connects and audio, um, hopefully, let me see something, actually, let's go, uh, let's go device manager. Yeah, if you have <laughs> Connexent or I don't know if it's just that uh, that that uh, audio device, but or if it's a lot of their older ones, I don't even know if they're still around anymore. Like I said, this is an old laptop, but you probably running into problems because they fi they fixed it. Windows uh, Microsoft fixed it, and then when 2004 came out, they broke it again. So I don't know why they don't learn, but yeah, the solution that I just said to do, that, that might work for you. So you go ahead, give that a try. And uh, if this helps one person out there, worth it. See you later.